Hello, I'd like to take a few minutes to show you some of the new functionality in the Create Line String command found in Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition. Using the Create Line String command, you can use all different types of methods to actually create a line string. Now, I want to create a 3D line string, and that's some of the new advanced functionality that's found in the latest version. So I'm just going to create a simple wall, just keep something real easy here. And I'm going to choose my starting point to be the end of this wall here. Now it's asking me for my elevation next. Now I can enter in the elevation or I can just go ahead and pick the end point of that and assign a value of 800 to the end of that line. Now the other end of the line, or the other end of this wall in this case, I'm going to said, say that I want it to be right here. Now I can put it in using different snaps and, and whatnot. But What's asking me now is for the elevation of that point. If I type in, you know, 801, 802, that's fine. But the new functionality is that I can come in here and actually tell it that I want to go at a 2%. So if I put in a positive 2% and hit enter or save, you can see that it's calculated the elevation at the end of that line based off the distance and the 2% slope from the 800 foot or 800 elevation at the beginning of the line. I can also use a slope. So if I was to come over here, and let's say we turn the corner and I enter that point in, I can put in a three to one slope. And now it's calculated the elevation based off of that value. Pretty simple. Now, a couple other features that I can do is I can add in a VPI along this line. So if we wanted a low point, maybe at this location here, I could simply you know, enter in a distance and assign an elevation. But you can also change the type. So if I come over here, I can enter in an incoming slope. So let's say I want it to go at 50 feet at a negative 2%. When I do that, it recalculates and puts in a VPI at that location. Now I can delete that or undo that. And I can choose a different method. So I can use outgoing slope, I can use slope intersection, and I can use line intersection. So maybe if this uh, slope drain here actually was three dimensional and had an elevation to it, I could tell it that I want it to use that line for it to get the elevation and insert a VPI at that point there. The new functionality is this ability to create an offset slope. So what I can do here is pick a reference line. So if I come over to my 3D view and I'm going to pick this bottom of this pad of this footprint of this building here and it's going to ask me for my cross slope. So what I want to do is I want to go at a negative 2% from that corner basically from here down for the uh, VPI. So if I put a negative two there and I say distance along and I just pick this point here being the end of that line. Oops, let me pick it again. It puts in that VPI based off of a 2% cross slope from there to there. I can do the same thing at the other end here. So we'll just snap that point there. And now I've got an adjusted vertical through this line where I'm at a negative 2% from that corner to that point there, negative from there to that point there. And you can do a bunch of other things. So with these VPIs, it's not just a uh, vertex. I can actually set that to be a vertical curve, which is also a powerful feature of the line string in Trimble Business Center Heavy Construction Edition. So to find out more, and learn more about Trimble Business Center, contact your local SciTech dealer.